This is uh, Jonathan Lowenstein working for Intertechnology in Canada. We represent micro measurements in uh, the States. And what I want to show you today is the advanced sensor technology strain gauge, which is the C4A strain gauge with lead wires attached. Uh, and we've installed the lead wires on a beam and we've connected it to the P3 strain indicator recorder uh, which is a portable four channel uh, recorder and what I want to show you is the setup that we've attached the, the strain gauge to channel number three and we've switched it on and we have a, a reading of minus 124 microstrain showing it hasn't been balanced and I need to put in a uh, I need to balance the, the unit so I can actually push balance here but before I do that what I what I've done is I've actually come to uh, what I do is I set up the the gauge factor the channel scaling on channel 3 the micro strain uh, readout and the, the gauge factor which is normally uh, 2 and I now come back and balance my by pressing the balance uh, button here I can toggle it and I can now balance the unit by pressing record should I say press balance it goes through the balance procedure and I'm now going to record it to save the information so we see now that we have a, a zero balance of micro strain if I touch the beam here I can activate it, it can give me plus or minus if I press on the end of the cantilever beam I'm putting strain on the gauge I'm getting a plus 300 micro strain if I press from the bottom to give me a negative strain on the gauge I'm getting a negative value. We have the ability to check calibration before we start to take readings or record readings so if I press the cal button it should be giving me a 5000 microstrain uh, readout with a gauge factor of 2 uh, and I'm getting very close to that number over there so I know that I'm uh, it's reading correctly so I can press this over here and come out of that so now I can use this to take readings we have ability of of taking readings once per second up to about 3,000 micro strain or sorry 3,000 or more seconds at different rates and we can actually also collect the information on single channels if we set up the analog output we're getting a, approximately 2 volt output on, on, on the output of the analog channel so that we can record individual channels one at a time uh, on the output sending it to a computer for collection. We can also connect the unit directly, the P3 directly to a laptop or a desktop and control the instrument from the laptop or desktop to collect data, either collect data on your computer or collect data on a media card which is set in place on the face board here. Okay.